Good day everyone. XO gate. XO or exclusive or gate. X in the same way as the logical either or. The output is true if either but not both of the inputs are true. The outputs is false if both inputs are false or if both inputs are true. Another way of looking at this circuit is to observe the output is 1 if the inputs are different but 0 if the inputs are the same. For example, your input, the first input is 0, the second input is 0. The output for this gate would be 0. If the first input is 0, second input is 1, your output will be 1. If the first input is 1, your second input is 0, your output will be 1. If the first input is 1, the second input is 1, your output will be 0. Okay, then we can conclude this as if the both input are same, for example, both input are 0, 0, your output will be 0. If the both input are 1 and 1, the output will be 0 also. If you have a different input, 1 is 0 and 1 is 1. So you will have the output as 1. So how we write down the X or gate? For example, this question, eh, this one, logic circuit, A and B is an input. Your output will be Q. So for the Boolean expression, we will write down as Q equals A, X or B. So you write X or into a Boolean expression. How you change it? So you just write a plus symbol and you circle it. This is a uh, symbol for X or gate. Okay. X or gate is also equivalent to A not B plus not A B. A not B plus A not B. So it's equal to A X or B. So for what odds question we can see okay, just now we mentioned about two inputs. What about if we have a three inputs A, B, C? Okay, A we have a three inputs, two power of three. So possible output is eight. So output is eight. So we, for the A we write down two power of zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. For B we write down 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. For C, we write down 2 power of uh, 2 power of 2. Okay, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So when we want to find the output for the OR gate for 3 input gate, we must have a odd number of the input if true. Okay, for example, the first one. 0, 0, 0. We have all 0. So your output will be 0. The second one, 0, 0, 1. So your true is only happen once, only occur once. So output will be 1. The third one, 0, 1, 0. So the output will be 1. The fourth one, 0, 1, 1. Your true occur two times. So means that your output will be 0. Should be your one number should be odd. So it cannot be even. Eh? So the third one, 1, 0, 0. So the 1 is only happen one time. So output will be 1. How about 1, 0, 1. So two times the 1 occur. So the output will be 0. The third, the last, before the last one. Okay, 1, 1, 0. So output will be 0 because it's happened twice. Okay, then the input for the last one is 1, 1, 1. So output will become 1 because it's a odd numbers. 1, 1, 1. 3 times happen. If 4 times 1 number happens, the output will be 0. If 5 times the 1 happen, the output will be 1. It's an odd question. Okay. So now we move on to X no gate. The X no or exclusive no gate is a combination of X or gate followed by an inverter. 
its output is true if the input are the same and false if the input are different so you if you have a, both input are zero your output become one if either one input is one your output become zero so it means that you find the xor gate then you invert the xor gate into x no gate so you will have the output as if your input is 0 0 output will be 1 your input is 0 1 output will be 0 if you have an input 1 0 output will be 0 if both input are true your output become true this one is a x no gate okay this one is a x no gate there are two ways to write down the x no gate so you write down the x o gate then you write the bar symbol at the top of a x or b so or you can write down also as q a circle dot b okay so for exam you can choose the first method a x or b bar okay if you want to know more you can google and you will find this symbol but for our exam syllabus we focus on a x or b bar that is a x no gate okay x o and x no gate how is Happen, eh? X O gate. We know that A not B. We invert and gate B not A and gate. We invert it and then we have a O gate. We have a X O. So X no is quite different from the uh, X. Or get x no is quite different from the x or get okay i think this one is won't come out for the exam but if you want to learn more you can uh, explore by yourself okay for the summary for this chapter we have all together there are seven gate first one is an end gate second one is a or gate third one is a not gate then we have a none gate is the invert of and gate then we have a no gate is the invert of or gate so then now for our today's uh, topic we learn about x or gate and x no gate okay so for the truth table so we know that for the uh, unary and binary not is a unary one input and one output so and gate we have uh, two input and become one output so if you have two input the possible output is four if and gate 0 0 will become 0 0 1 become 0 1 0 become 0 1 1 become 1 for none gate you invert the answer for n gate or gate if either one input is true your output will be true no gate you inverse the output for or gate x or gate is you if the same input you will have 0 if different input you will have 1 okay the number of true should be odd okay x no gate you inverse the x or gate okay i think that's all for this topic thank you a lot